Hi, this video segment is going to be about social media. And you're probably wondering, what is Chuck going to talk about? Well, social media is a great forum for talking to people, finding friends you haven't seen in a long time, family members. Um, but it also has now become an incredible investigative tool for law enforcement and for insurance companies. And, and let me tell you what the first thing a police officer detective will do or an insurance carrier will do when you're making a claim. They will go right to social media and try to find your Facebook page, your Twitter feed, your Instagram, and everything else that's out there. And they want to see what you're up to. They want to see who your associates are, your friends are. They want to see if you've been talking about this, the allegations of a crime against you, or whether there's going to be retribution against that person that reported a crime. And they want to see if you've responded to it, or you're, you're talking I hate to use this word, but talking shit about somebody that was the victim of a crime or that reported you doing something to law enforcement. On the other hand, insurance carriers, they want to see if you're actually hurt or if you're talking about the liability aspects of your claim. I have had so many clients, and this just is mind boggling, where they're claiming to me and to the defendant insurance company that it's representing the defendant that caused the accident, whether it be a bike or a car accident, and the client is claiming he can't work anymore, or the client is claiming that his back hurts so bad he can only work and do limited amounts of things during the day at his home, or whatever it may be. And then you see pictures being posted of the guy climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, or becoming a member of, of the World Wrestling Federation. I mean, things like this that are just, you've got this one story, where, hey, I can't do anything, I'm so hurt from the accident, and then you've got all these posts about the guy traveling around the world doing all these physical things, or, you know, building a treehouse, or whatever it may be. My point is, don't air your laundry on social media, because that's the first thing that's going to be thrown in your face when you file a lawsuit or you're charged with a crime and you're talking about it. Those are the things that are left need to be quiet. I mean, that's the bottom line is you don't talk about your, 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 the things going on in your life that can come back to haunt you. And it's one thing to um, espouse your political views in a, a nonviolent way. That's one thing. But don't threaten people. Don't threaten anything in social media because I guarantee you it will be brought up in a prosecution of yourself or it will be brought up in the defense of a lawsuit when you sue somebody for your damages. And I would like to think that when somebody tells me they're hurt, they're hurt, but there are those that feign an injury trying to get something, and then I read about all their social media, act, I read about all their activities on social media that completely torpedoes the case. I cannot tell you how many times that has occurred, and no matter how much I preach, stay off social media with anything that has to do with your pending claim or your pending criminal matter because if you do not do that you will end up seeing it again brought up and you will be questioned about it whether it's in front of a jury or in a deposition at trial whatever but it will become a huge issue thank you if you have any questions or ideas for these video topics please email me at lawyer at chuckfranklin.com that's lawyer at chuckfranklin.com and I'll consider your topic and maybe you'll see yourself on my video channel. Thank you.